Which country do you think has the coolest cop cars? Well, to find out, I've put together a list of the best and the weirdest police cars from all over the world. Some of these cars are just completely insane. You're not going to outrun them in a stolen Volkswagen Golf R, let's put it that way. And others are just downright weird. Anyway, I'm Matt Watson, and you're watching Car Wow. Buying a new car? Then head to Car Wow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. Car Wow, your one stop car buying comparison site. Lamborghini loves a bit of publicity. Like that time they gave a hurricane to the Pope. But that's not the only car that Lambo's given away. It's also given a hurricane to the Italian police, or the polizia, if you speak Italian. Anyway, this hurricane isn't just a PR tool. It actually gets used as a proper police car. Most of the time, it's used as a regular patrol car. But the coolest thing it's ever done is deliver a human kidney for an emergency transplant. The police drove from Padua to a hospital in Rome, which is more than 300 miles away, and they did it in just over two hours. That drive would take a normal person in a normal car around six hours. This means the average speed was more than 140 miles an hour, which is pretty incredible. Most police cars are covered in reflective stickers to make them really, really easy to see. You know, just in case you missed the blue lights and you didn't hear the siren. And this is why cop cars in the UK look a bit like a Battenberg cake in a rave. But police cars in Japan get this super stylish black and white livery, almost like the car is wearing a tuxedo. And it looks especially classy on this Nissan GTR police car. Yep, the police in Japan genuinely have a GTR pursuit car. It was actually donated to them by a resident in Tokigi. Can't even say that properly. Tochi, Tochigi? It was actually given to them by a resident in Tochigi. Maybe that donation helped make a few parking tickets go away. But this isn't the only awesome police car in Japan. A Lexus executive also gave the police an LC500. Apparently, he said he wanted them to use it to help prevent accidents. Not sure how that's going to work exactly. Maybe people will slow down to look at it. Although, that'll probably just cause more crashes. Most British police cars are either BMWs or Skodas, but one lucky Bobby in the Isle of Man gets to go to work in a BAC Mono. This is one of the most hardcore track day cars you can actually buy. It'll do 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds and tops out at 170 miles an hour. That might seem a little bit excessive for a police car, but most roads on the Isle of Man don't actually have any speed limits. So you're not going to catch anyone if you're driving a diesel Skoda Octavia. But there is a problem with the mono, and the clue's in the name. Mono. It means one. The mono only has a single seat. So what the hell happens when you arrest someone? Do you call an Uber to take them to the police station? Amazingly, the BAC mono isn't the only mental track day car owned by the police. They also have an aerial atom. They don't actually use it to chase criminals though, but it does get used to promote bike safety probably because it's the only car on sale that makes you want to wear a helmet when you're driving it. Now, if you think all that's bizarre, wait till you see this. It's a Caparo T1 that was built for the London Metropolitan Police in 2007. This was basically a Formula One car with some headlights on it. It had a 585 horsepower V8 engine and it weighed less than half a tonne and would do 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds and go on to a top speed of 205 miles an hour. The police version was displayed at a load of motor shows around the country, but it was never actually used as a police car, probably because it couldn't get over a speed dump, which there are a lot of in London. I reckon the German police have missed a trick by not using Audi RS4s as police cars. They're perfect when you think about it, right? They're really fast and they have a big boot. So there's loads of space for all your police dogs and your police stuff and evidence, donuts, I don't know, whatever. And the German tuners are apt, agree with me, because they built a 530 horsepower Audi RS4R, especially for the German police. Okay, so once again, it was never used for catching criminals or for traffic duties on the Autobahn, but it was built to encourage people to tune their cars safely and legally as part of a tune it safe campaign they were running in Germany. The Audi RS4 isn't the only tuned car with a link to the German police. Brabus built a special car for them too. It was called the Rocket, and it was a 730 horsepower version of the Mercedes CLS V12, only with blue lights and some police stickers. This was also built to encourage people to tune their cars legally, so it probably never had any criminals in the back seats. 
But just imagine that thing coming up behind you on the Autobahn. While we're on the subject of tuning cars, I want to talk about the Honda Civic Type R. Because even when it's stock, it looks like it's been dressed up by the Fast and Furious prop department. And this means Civic Type R drivers probably get pulled over by the police a lot. But there are some countries where the police actually drive Honda Civic Type Rs. There's one in Australia and it's being used by the New South Wales Police Department. And there's another in Malaysia, which is actually used as part of the King's personal police convoy. It's mad. Now I've recently just filmed a drag race between a Honda Civic Type R and the new Toyota GR Yaris. And I'm putting a link just up there, just popping out the top right corner of the screen. If you click on that, you can go watch that video. All of the cop cars on my list have so far been really, really fast. But they'd all be a bit useless if some bank robbers tried to escape by driving over a ploughed field. But the Italian military police have the perfect car for the job because they run a fleet of Suzuki Jimneys. Look how cool they are! The police probably hope that they never arrest any fat criminals because the Jimneys' back seats are pretty blooming cramped. I find it hard to squeeze whoever you're arrested in the back there. While we're in Italy, let's have a look at another car the military police use, which is a whole lot quicker than a Jimny. It's not some Italian supercar. It's actually a British sports car, a Lotus Evora, which is a bit of a weird choice for the Italians. I wonder if the Italian police ever get tempted to race this Lotus against the Hurricane from earlier. I bet they do, you know. And who's going to stop them, eh? They're the police. The British police don't just cruise around in a bunch of weird track day cars, they have to try to be a bit eco-friendly as well. Which is why a few police forces in London have started using the Toyota Mirai as police cars. Now these are powered by a hydrogen fuel cell and electric motors, so they don't produce any harmful emissions. Problem is, you can't just fill them up with hydrogen at your regular petrol station, and there are only 13 hydrogen filling stations in the whole of the United Kingdom. And it would be pretty embarrassing to arrest some criminals and then run out of hydrogen on your way back to the police station. I think I'd rather stick with petrol diesel power for now if I was a copper. The United Arab Emirates is one of the richest places in the world, so it makes sense that police there drive some pretty flashy cars. Or how does a Lamborghini Aventador sound? Or maybe a fancy Ferrari FF? Or what about an Aston Martin 177? Well, Dubai has all of those on its police force. Oh, and the Bugatti Bay run as well for good measure. These are all part of the Dubai Police Super Fleet, which sounds like some low-budget cop show from the 1980s, but it's actually a big PR tool for the city. So the police just cruise around trying to photobomb as many people's holiday snaps as possible. It's all for the gram, darling. Yeah. Actually, if you're on Instagram, click on the pink comment below the video to follow Carl Wow on Instagram with loads and loads of behind-the-scenes photos and videos from all our video shoots. Now, I bet you didn't think that anything could top the Veyron on this list, right? Well, you're wrong. You see, just down the road from Dubai, in Abu Dhabi, the police there have something even more exclusive. It's called the Lycan Hypersport. There are only seven of these things in the world, and they each cost more than two and a half million pounds. This car has absolutely mental looking bodywork and a carbon fiber chassis, and a turbocharged flat six engine, which actually comes from a Porsche. It makes 780 horsepower and does naught to 60 miles an hour in 2.8 seconds. So good luck trying to outrun it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. If you click on that window there, you can watch some cool cars drag race. And down there, I've got a really ace off-road challenge with the Suzuki Jimny and the G63 and a Jeep Wrangler. If you click on that box there, you can get a car wow to sign up to our newsletter. And we'll keep you up to date with all the latest news and reviews in between these video uploads. Thanks for watching.